So I wanted to go through explicit uh, conversion or explicit coercion uh, in this video. Um, now there are a few functions which allow you to convert your uh, vector types um, and one of those functions is um, an as dot character function. So if you pass um, a vector to this function, it will uh, convert all the elements of the vector into character type character types. So <clears throat> let me just um, take this vector. Let me let me just get rid of this. Probably this can come beneath. I don't know. Maybe yes. Why not? Um, so what I can do is I so so I've created a vector of numeric type or integer type or what or and then I've assigned it to this variable <coughs> and then if I pass this uh, vector to uh, this function, so this function basically accepts a parameter uh, of type vector. So now what I've done is that I've tried to convert it, this uh, vector, um, so that each element of the uh, vector uh, will become of type um, character. So now I can assign it to a new variable, uh, which is x. And then I can simply print out X. So if I select all these lines and execute this line piece of code, in fact, let me just clear the console uh, and run it again. And now if I try to run it, I can see that once it has uh, executed all these three lines of code, it has printed out all the contents of the vector. And you can see that these are just these are not only numbers but numbers in double quotes so it just shows you the fact that each of the element is of type string or character <coughs> so as dot character is one of the functions which allows you to explicitly uh, convert your vector type um, uh, it is the function which is explicitly converting the vector type but there are other functions which uh, gives you the same capability as well, uh, meaning that they allow you to convert your vector type into cert certain other types. Um, now, one of the function is called as dot numeric. So, this function <coughs> would uh, convert all your um all the all the elements of a vector into um, numeric type so if you can recall one of the previous videos what we did um, was something like this we basically tried to uh, we created a vector and then we created another vector um, of logical type with the help of with the help of this vector we created another vector in fact let me just instead of instead of using this let me create a new vector of type um, of logical type so a vector containing of logical values so let's say i say true false i don't know if it's i don't know if i can I think it will become string. Let's let's just um, try to create a vector. <coughs> Let me print out the content of this vector. So I'm trying to create a vector of logical type. So each element is uh, a logical value in this vector, and I'm trying to print out this vector. Let me see if I can print out. So I, I think it's because I have to put the caps on over here. Yeah, that that was the mistake. I was 
um, by the way you can just use s uh, or t to represent true or false value uh, so if i if i now create the console if i now try to create this vector so i can see that the first value is true then false then false and then true so so we've created a vector um, and all of the all of the elements of this vector is of logical type uh, now if we pass this vector to as dot numeric it will try to convert this vector into a type of numeric so if i do something like this and let's say i i don't have to do this but i would like to just assign it to a variable and let me clear console again so <coughs> we've created a vector we've passed uh, this logical type vector into as numeric um, function as an argument and uh, it it will try to convert it into type numeric and then it will try to assign it to this variable and it will then print out uh, whatever the contents uh, in the output so let's try to run this and once we run it what we'll see is that it will output um, it will it will convert each element into numeric and then it will uh, print out in this format so one zero zero one and what we can see is that wherever uh, this function has found true whichever element it has found of value true it has tried to convert it into one and whichever element it has found as false it has tried to convert it into zero so you can use as numeric function for your explicit type conversion if you want to do uh, uh, such an operation and um, I mean there are other functions as well I mean I mean you can see there's as integer function you can use as integer and what it will try to do is it will try to convert um, certain uh, numeric values sometimes i mean if you if you are passing it a numeric um vector consisting of numeric values it can try to convert it into um into into integer so let, let's let's try doing that so if i pass it something like 1.1 2.2 another value of 3.3 that's uh, so what i'm doing is i'm creating a vector and straight away passing it to this uh, just 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 to just as a shortcut so what i've done is that i've created a constructor at the same time when i was actually passing this uh, vector to as integer dot function and then straight away try to output in console and what we can see is that it has converted all these values which were of type numeric into integer and you can see that these are integers one two and three so it has ignored these uh, decimal places at all so this was explicit type conversion uh, and you can use other other functions there are other functions they are all of the same convention starting with as dot numeric as dot integer or as dot character uh, so you can use them